stop you. Just to put your microphone on, please. Thank you. And you again have requested 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Indeed Robin Stock. I am Chairman of Governors of the Bishop Stockton High School, and I am speaking this evening on behalf of that school and behalf of Sherrod Essex High School. A great deal has been said already this evening, and indeed previously, in respect to the application by the two schools to relocate to a site to the south of Whittington Way. And a large number of objections have been raised, a good many of which, regrettably, are based on misunderstandings or are not germane to this application for outline planning concepts. John Harris, who is the Director of Children's Schools and Families at the County Council, and is therefore the Senior Educationalist in the County, will be speaking shortly about the very special educational circumstances that convinced the governors of both schools to embark on the project, which we fully understand and appreciate is unpopular in some quarters, but which we believe is vitally necessary if Bishop Sportford is to continue to have sufficient secondary school places in the future. I'd like to spend the time allotted to me, therefore, to try to correct some of the misunderstandings as follows. One, you're seeking to create a super school. We are not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Each school is immensely proud of its traditions, its history, its ethos. They're each a single sex school from years 7 to 11. And both governing bodies believe that parents in the future should continue to have the opportunity to express a preference for single sex education for their child if they so wish. The two schools will continue as separate establishments with separate governing bodies as at present. Two, the siting of a super school, or in the light of what I just said, two separate schools <coughs> on the edge of Bishop Salford <coughs> will present insoluble traffic problems. Now, whatever you may think of the view of the traffic planning department of the County Council, it is nonetheless a view which has to be taken into account by this development committee. And that report states it raises no objections to the outline planning application on highway grounds. Indeed, the traffic planners have said by relocating the two schools as planned would take significant volumes of traffic out of the town centre. <laughs> and <laughs> ease traffic congestion <laughs> overall. Please respect the speaker. Sorry. Relocation would not be necessary if the existing buildings on their current sites had been properly maintained. Indeed, I've heard it suggested a lick of paint wouldn't come amiss. Yeah. I wish that was the case. Over £1.1 million pounds has been spent on repairs and renewals at the Bishop's of High School over the last five years alone. And similar sums at the Hearts and Essex on their upkeep, bearing in mind their four buildings are over 100 years old. The simple truth is that far too much money which should be being spent on education, is being spent on trying to maintain buildings which are beyond their useful life and they're not fit for purpose. The school should expand on their present sites and not move. I'm afraid that's simply not possible. Each school is at capacity on its present site. Even if it was, had been achievable, any expansion of the buildings and facilities on the present sites would only compound the current problems of overcrowded sites and poor buildings unsuitable for the needs of education, we're in the 21st century. The relocation is being foisted upon the two schools in order to get the county out of a hole of its own making. Again, totally untrue. The relocation of the two schools was first proposed in 2001. Councillors will recall that it was supported by East Arts District Council, your council. And as John Harris will tell you, this is the third and thus final step in the long-term plan for the future of secondary education in Bishop Slaughter on which the county has already spent over £12 million pounds supporting expansion at Birchwood and St Mary's. The two schools are judged outstanding by Austin, and that judgment would be put at risk if the two schools were to be relocated and expand. Wrong. Both schools are successful despite, and not by reason, of their current facilities. Bishop Thorne High School was opened over 50 years ago as a three-form entry secondary model, no sixth form. The buildings now in use reflect that fact. The Hearts and Essex Court buildings are over 100 years old. It's a little short of a miracle, to my way of thinking, that both schools should have achieved their present status as outstanding with the facilities with which their staff have to contend. And I do place on record my admiration for the work that is undertaken by the staff of both schools. Not enough attention has been paid to details, such as the Green Trouble Plan or the design and appearance of buildings or noise proofing. 
I don't have to explain to this minister that such detail is properly a subject to be addressed at the detailed planning stage and not at the present outline planning stage. In, in particular, on the issue of aircraft noise, your officers accept that the external noise environment at the present site meets with the appropriate guidelines, whilst the issue of noise within the school buildings is a matter at the detailed planning stage and it is a building regulation issue. As you will be aware, both our schools in their present old buildings suffer very badly from aircraft noise, and we are thus keen to ensure a high standard of noise insulation at the new site. In response to the officers' concerns, we have supplied them with technical information that clearly demonstrates that mandatory building regulation requirements can be met on this site. Until the detailed design process is commenced, we can do no more. But you may rest assured that the schools do not allow any compromise on this issue. If I may comment to the lawyer, I don't see how this issue could probably be a reason for refusal at this outcome stage. Bowdoin's Lane is an open space. No, it isn't. It's private land, and it's in the ownership of Hart Census High School. Finally, some objections have been made on the basis that we don't need any more houses of Bishop's Daughter. We all know of the expansion that's taken place in this town over the recent past. Having lived in this town as I have for over 60 years, I don't recall a time when voices were not being raised as to the undesirability of development within Bishop's Daughter. We've heard tonight, Stansted Airport already has planning permission to increase the use of its single runway from its current level to 35 million passengers a year. And this enormous increase will inevitably be reflected in future demand for local housing. Education planning that in the past has just about been able to keep up with actual planned and unplanned growth in our town is now looking forward to the number of secondary school places that will be needed over the next 20 years. That's up to 2030. And that, in a nutshell, is why we think it's imperative to relocate and expand our two schools and why there's present applications for you. The character of Bishop Salford has changed an awful lot over the last 60 years. Not, I have to think, for the better. But we now have the opportunity to make something, namely secondary education in Bishop Salford, immeasurably better. I think we have to have the foresight to take that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.